We spent the night of June 13th at the Fairbridge Inn in Missoula, Montana. Beds were comfortable, the air conditioning was cold, the shower was hot, and the breakfast was pretty decent. But the suggestion to eat at Jaker's was priceless. We sat at one of those high tables next to a really nice bar, and the waitress came over in a spotless white shirt, black pants, a tie, and she was as professional as you could get. As far as the best salad bar in the state, guys, I got to tell you, it was no lie. They had at least six kinds of homemade soup. Every other thing that you could think of for a salad bar, and the kitchen was spotless. You could see through a spotless glass window right into the kitchen where the cooking, everything was stainless steel and shiny. No lie, this was a good place to eat. Look at those clouds. Even the clouds are beautiful here. Not a lot of depth. Good place to stay, very cheap, $75. It's June 14th, I think. Yeah, 14th. And uh, we are headed for Kaliskal this morning. It's a little on the cool side. High 40s, low 50s. But uh, that's okay. I've got my heating gear on. It's doing the job. I'm not connected with Carl right now. He couldn't sit still long enough to wait for these Zenas to connect. So we're not connected. Uh, I think there is still something wrong with the way these Cenas are connecting. I'm not sure what it is, but I think that we have to sit down and do it in the motel room at night and figure it out instead of trying to do this in the morning and getting all frustrated because it's delaying our departure. Got a pretty early start this morning. Looks like it's going to be a pretty ride up here. Uh, at the mountains over here on the on the right. It's only about 125 miles up to Kalispell, and then we got to ride up to Glacier National Park after that. Should be a good day. What an incredibly beautiful day. Just look at these clouds, big puffies, look at the mountains over here. Great road. I'm so blessed to be doing this. Carl said I had to see Montana. But it was worth the ride, and I'll tell you what, man, it is just, this is beautiful. I say every day, this, you can't get any better than this, every day. Every day it does. Look at those mountains. Incredible. Just incredible. So far, the ride up to Kalispell has been spectacular. Just beautiful. Man, oh man. Just beautiful.
mountains are beautiful. I wonder what I wonder what mountain range that is. I wonder if that's the uh, Rocky Mountains. Found up on Flathead Lake. It's huge on the map. These rolling hills down to the lake are just beautiful. And I'd give anything to have a piece of property up here. I could be happy just sitting on my porch looking at all this. It's incredible. Just incredible beauty. This is definitely my kind of territory, terrain, whatever you want to call it. This is it. <laughs> this is it. I feel like I'm at home. This is where I want to be. I, I could easily settle around here. Yeah, lake view is just incredible. Man, get up a couple of hundred feet. Can you imagine what that would be? It's just beautiful. I, I could I could see myself settling here. Other than the winters. They do have cold, cold hard winters up here. There is that. I guess that's when you shoot down to Arizona for the winter to your second home. I know Carl was telling me on the way up that uh, that's what he and Helen do. They come up here for like the hottest months of the uh, of the summer down in Arizona. They just come up here and rent the place for a month. Uh, I'd just be heading down there in the winter times instead. A nice uh, lady last night at the hotel that told us about Jakers told us that there's a, a, a Fairbridge Inn up here in Kalispell. Uh, we looked hard for places last night. There wasn't much available, but when she told us that, we called right away and made a reservation. So we've already got a room reserved at another Fairbridge Inn. I hope it's a, as nice as the last one. At least we've got a, at least we've got a guaranteed place to stay. I love how the mountains come right up out of the lake like that. Kind of like that at Lake Willoughby in, in Vermont, too. I think that looks really, really cool. They have bikes up around here. What's up, guys? We've seen a lot of adventure bikes and Harley Davidsons. Not that many gold wings, actually. And no Voyagers. I mean, I never see a Voyager anywhere. I won't say never, but very, very rare. Well, it's kind of a neat little town. Right here on the lake. Beautiful. Going up as far as we can on uh, uh, going Glacier? up going to the Sun Road. Yeah, that sucks. I hear it's not open yet. Oh wait. I know. Yeah, we're going to go up as far as we can, turn around, and come back. So we'll probably see you again in about an hour. Well, it'll probably take you longer than that because there's a lot of people that have been going up there, but there's a lot of stop and go, stop and go. 
no really uh well we might turn around first who knows it's beautiful though oh, i know that's why we're going the waterfall i've i rode here all the way from new hampshire to see this new hampshire new hampshire ma'am you got it you can't go much further than that Okay. Well, we just we just geared up because we were we were cold. We came up from Missoula. It was cold. It, it was just raining really hard up here. So oh, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Just missed it, so you got lucky there. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> our our, fa our favorite thing is missing rain. <laughs> and and, and snow too, and snow. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's how you probably get here. You never know what the weather's going to do. Oh, uh, we know. They got bear tooth passes closed, too. Oh, is it? Yeah. Why? Snow. Wow. From Cook City all the way to Red Lodge. Wow, still, huh? Yep. Thank you. Thank you. As we rode towards Glacier National Park, the skies got ominous. We knew we were going to hit some weather. But you know what? We had been very lucky on this trip and this was really the first major rain that we encountered. It was a cold rain and it started coming down pretty good. But the going to the sun road was ahead of us and having been turned away so many times so far on this trip, we really wanted to salvage at least a part of the going to the Sun Road. Carl and I had gotten our scenes connected at a gas stop, and we were discussing our options for the rest of the day. The immediate plan was to get a hot cup of coffee. And we didn't have to wait long. Too bad. 